Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to meet you all again, now huh? Online here. Uh, this is your first lesson of this uh, week, right? Okay. We hope that everyone is uh, in uh, good condition. So mentally, yeah, you must, you must get uh, ready to go back to school, uh, huh? Must go back to school, uh. No matter how also, uh, I think, uh, face to face, uh, facing your school teacher, I think still is the best, uh, compared to online, right? Okay. Okay, uh, we continue to discuss the last two questions. Uh, okay, remember not the paper two. We are doing, we, we do the revision paper, right? Paper two, uh, okay, come, let's look at the paper now. This set of paper now, nah, okay. Question 11 now, ah. Huh? We say question, okay, question 11. Read the question first, okay. It's a long question, okay. Uh, I think this is a form four chapter, lah, huh? Diagram shows a breeze blowing from sea towards the land, you can see that. The wind is blowing from the sea towards the land, right? And this is called sea breeze. Sea breeze uh, because uh, the wind blows from sea to the land, so we call it sea breeze, okay? Blowing from sea towards the land during the hot day. Uh, this is during hot day, you know, okay? Right, now you see that. Uh, uh, let them come in first. Lah, huh? Still got people they are waiting outside. Okay. Before we answer the question, uh, let me explain to you how this thing uh, form, you know. Okay. First is like this. Uh, the sunlight during daytime, right? Sunlight will heat up the sea water and also will heat up the land. So remember that, okay? But the land will get heat up faster because uh, land can get heat up faster compared to the sea water. You know, the reason is uh, land has smaller specific heat capacity. The specific heat capacity is smaller. Smaller means uh, it will heat up faster, okay? You can heat up faster. Here, Sea water, la, the steps, uh, specific capacity is small, bigger. La. Bigger means uh, difficult to be heat up. This one heat up faster. So here is hot, right? So what happens is a uh, hot air la, will go up, hot air rises. La. Okay, here is hot. Ma. So this hot air will rise up, right? Okay, hot air go up, so here become empty already, empty low pressure. So when here is empty low pressure, la, then the air la, will move from the sea, come in here to fill up the place. So this will cause the air la, move from the sea towards the land. La. Okay, so this is how the sea breeze form, you know. It's something to do with the specific heat capacity. Huh? Okay. Okay, now let's look at the question. Huh? Okay, first question. What is the meaning of specific heat capacity? Okay, you guys must know already. Huh? What is specific heat capacity? Must get must ready to answer this kind of question, you know. What is specific heat capacity? What is the meaning? Huh? Are you still there? Huh? What is specific heat capacity? Kelvin, Kelvin Chi, are you there? Ah, uh, Kelvin. Uh, no one answer me. Ah, uh, Kian Ming, Ku Kian Ming. What is specific capacity of Ku Kian Ming? <laughs> Nobody answer me. Hey, la. Yvonne, Yvonne Tiu, what about you? Please, la. Uh, Yvonne, what is specific heat capacity? 
uh, amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of substance to temperature of 1 degree Celsius? Yes, very good answer. This uh, amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of substance by 1 degree Celsius. So specific means uh, 1 kilogram by 1 degree Celsius. So amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of substance by 1 degree Celsius. Okay, we will go through all the questions first and later on only we check the answer. Okay, come. So this one done already. Number two. Explain. Okay, this I move a little bit now. I can see. Voila, I need to move in a little bit. Okay. Explain the formation of brace in terms of specific heat capacity. This I told you already just now. Huh? In terms of specific capacity means like this, you see sunlight heat up the lens and also heat up the sea water. Okay, but the lens will get heat up faster. The reason is lens has smaller specific heat capacity. Smaller heat capacity material can heat up faster when you remember that. Huh? So what happens is a hot air rises up because here is hot ma. So the hot air go up. So here become low pressure, empty low pressure, right? Got vacancy already. So the A will then move from the sea towards the land to fill up the place. Okay, you move here lah. So hot A go up, cool A come in like that lah. So you form the cycle lah. This is how you explain lah. Okay, B. Later on, I show you the answer. Don't worry. Now I just explain roughly only ah. You don't need to write now, okay? Diagram show a solar. Okay, this is later. Okay. okay, let's see the answer for part A first. Okay, see the answer. Mm, question 11, right? Ah, okay, this here. And now you can, why you can copy the answer. This one is specific capacity. Amount of heat increase temperature 1 degree for the best of 1 kilogram. Same now. Huh? And then part 2. Land has smaller specific capacity than the sea water. So land hotter than sea. A above the land hotter. Then hot A rises. Pressure become low. A move from the high pressure region above the sea. To the reason region of low pressure above the land, so this is a complete answer, lah. Okay, ah. Uh? Uh, those who want to copy, so you can copy now. Okay. And we come in. Okay, not finish. Very young. Harry Young, are you listening? Harry Young? Harry Young, no sound already. Okay, come, we move on. Huh? So the question B. Uh, this question you have to read carefully. Come, let's go through the question. Uh. Diagram show a solar water heater that a student intends to construct on the roof. The solar panel collects energy from the sunlight to heat up the solar fluid. Then the hot, hot solar fluid then heat up the water. Okay, so the rest you can read yourself. Uh. Okay, I, I will explain to you roughly how this thing works. Uh. Okay, the diagram is like that. This is a solar energy used to heat up water one, you know. Okay, how this thing works? Uh, this thing usually is fixed on the rooftop, okay, on the roof of the house of people. La. Use a sunlight, uh, the solar energy to heat up the water. 
this one is not for drinking one, you know. Huh? This one just to heat up the water for bathing, uh, understand? Okay, hot water. Okay, uh, how this thing works is like this. Huh? Solar panel is this one, black color one. Okay, solar panel means this one is uh, very good in absorbing the sunlight. So the sunlight will be absorbed. This one definitely must be black color one, black color. Absorb the sun. Black color material now very good in absorbing the sun now. So this thing will absorb the sunlight. So it become hot. It will heat up the solar fluid. Okay. Over here got a types of something like types of liquid now. Okay. So this solar panel will heat up this. See that? This solar fluid here is cold. Cold one, it come here. So it will be heat up now. So this solar energy absorb the sunlight become hot, right? So the hot energy will then use to heat up the solar fluid. Okay. So this solar fluid become hot already. A uh, hot, then it come here, then it heat up the water. Uh, it carry this solar fluid now uh, carry the, the heat, come here, then heat up the water. Understand? Okay, this water is like this all. Cold water come here and then heat up. Heat up, then hot already, and then send to bathroom uh, for breathing, for shower. Understand? Hot water. Uh, can save a lot of electricity. Uh, but this one is not uh, suitable for drinking. Uh, for daily use, only not for drinking one. Understand? Okay? So this is how this thing use. Uh, okay? Uh, so there are a few things I need to pay attention, you know. Solar panel must be dark color. Dark color, why? Absorb heat very fast, okay? And solar fluid, uh, solar fluid pipe, the pipe first, okay? The pipe, this piping, uh, this pipe must make from material low specific capacity. Low specific capacity means that this material can become hot very fast. Right, hot very fast. Okay, it becomes hot very fast. Same thing goes to this solar fluid. Okay, solar fluid, the fluid, uh, the liquid also must have small specific capacity. Why? Because small specific capacity liquid now uh, can become hot faster. So it can become hot faster, uh, so we can heat up the water faster. Huh? Another one you need to pay attention one is uh, insulation. Uh. Insulation means uh, something like cotton uh, to cover the water. Okay. So this insulation uh, must be something very good in protecting the heat from escape. So this one must be bad, very bad heat conductor. Uh. Not conducting heat one. Understand? So roughly like this few material, uh, okay? And uh, now we look at the question. Probably you all know what the answer is about already, right? Okay, now we see. So you are supposed to choose one of these PQRS team. Okay, first surface of solar panel. I told you already, right? Solar panel must be what color? Uh, you want you what color one? Shiny gray or dull black? Uh, you want? You want? Uh, can you answer the question? Shiny gray. Gray. Uh, I just uh, I say what color? I say this one. Uh, solar panel must be what color? The surface. Uh, I say what color? Shiny cannot. Uh, uh, shiny. Uh, black. If, uh, if shiny will reflect the light, it wouldn't absorb the light. Cannot, cannot choose shiny. Understand? So this one definitely out, shiny out, okay? Shiny out. So the one you, you have to choose is dull black. Dull means uh, not shiny at all. It won't reflect the light, so it will absorb light better, lah. okay? So all choose dull black, dull black, lah. okay? Then what about the specific capacity of the solar fluid? Uh, fluid, fluid means this liquid. This liquid, uh, Will be heat up by the solar panel become hot already this oil uh, hot already right then come here release the heat to heat up the water understand 
So what is the specific capacity of this solar fluid? This fluid must be specific capacity, big or small, Jocelyn, uh, Jocelyn. Uh. The solar fluid must have big or small specific capacity, uh, Jocelyn. Tan Wei Yi, Tan Wei Yi, are you there? Who will the answer? Afro, Afro, what about you? Solar yes. fluid must it's choose small, 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 specific, small specific heat capacity. Yes, correct. The reason is why, why choose small one? Big one, don't want to choose a small one. Okay, small specific capacity one. Why then? Because it can huh? heat up faster. Yeah, it can heat up faster. It can become hot faster. When it become hot faster, nah, this thing very hot, right? So when it come here, nah, it can hot very hot. It will heat up the water faster. Lah. Okay, huh? That one is solar fluid pipe. It's a pipe, you know, the material of the pipe. The pipe must choose a copper or PVC. PVC is something like plastic. Lah. So you choose the PVC or you choose a copper. Raymond, Raymond Ng, ah, this pipe or oh, solar free pipe, choose copper or choose PVC? Copper. Ah, copper. Good. Choose copper one. Why choose copper, eh, Raymond? It, it can transfer the heat faster. Yes, correct. Very good answer. Because, ah, Copper can transfer heat when you bring the heat here, right? It can transfer the heat faster. Okay. And last for insulation. Insulation means uh, to cover the thing, uh, cover the water. Okay. So you choose cotton uh, or why gods? Which one? Ping Yi, are you there? Ping Yi, uh? Ping Yi not there. Yes, sir. You choose cotton or you choose wire gods? Cotton. Cotton now. Oh. Yes, very smart. Choose cotton. Why choose cotton? What is the reason? Huh? Pingyi? Uh, can prevent the heat loss to surrounding. Yes, correct. One thing is cotton prevent heat loss now because cotton is a very bad heat conductor. It do not conduct the heat one. Okay, huh? Okay, now you check the answer. Uh, you can uh, answer, you can copy the answer now. Okay. Surface is dark black, okay, which is black color. Good example of heat from the sunlight, okay. The reason you must give you know answer in the table lah. This one no need actually. This one to need to write on. Here this one no need write one lah, okay. You only give answer these two only, okay. The suggestion and the explanation, okay. So surface of panel of solar panel is down black, good example of heat. And then specific heat capacity, choose low. Low reason, heat up quickly and release the heat quickly to the water. And the pipe, choose copper, conduct heat. Good conductor of heat, you can conduct the heat faster. Huh? And then the last one, you choose the insula insulation, uh, choose cotton. Why cotton? Poor heat conductor. Right, can reduce the heat loss. Okay, out of all these, so we choose S. Okay, you must write S. Huh? S is more suitable, then you repeat again the reason. Huh? Because solar panel with down black surface, solar fluid with low specific capacity, solar fluid pipe mix of copper and cotton in insulation. Okay, write all these, so you get 10 marks. A lot of marks, you know, 10 marks question. Okay. Can I? Che, can I understand or not? Ah, uh, Che. And can. Can, can, ah. Where are you? Ah? Where for a while? Yeah, okay, okay.
Yeah. All right. We move on to the next one. The calculation. Okay, come. Finish, ah. Huh? Okay, come. We look at the calculation part. Five hundred twenty watt electric heater heat up zero point six kilogram of water for one to six second. The increase in temperature is twenty five degree. Means ah. Huh? You heat up the water for one to six seconds, right? So the temperature increased by 25. Specific capacity of water is 4,200. Okay, now all this. Calculate the amount of heat supplied by heater. Okay, we go through the question first. Lah. You want to find the heat supplied by heater, use the formula PT. Okay, power multiply time. Okay, that's it, PT. You take the power of the heater, now multiply the time, so you get the amount of heat supplied by the heater, PT. Huh? And amount of heat absorbed by water, uh, this is MC theta. Okay, MC theta. Okay, PT is a heat supplied by the heater. How much heat energy absorbed by water is mass times the specific capacity of water, Time is the theta. Theta is a change in temperature, like MC theta. Okay. And then one is the energy loss. A uh, loss means that uh, okay, definitely I want to ask you. Uh, among these two answers, PT and MC theta, uh, which answer will be bigger? Uh, which answer is bigger? PT bigger or MC theta bigger? Okay. Which answer bigger? Uh, PT or MC theta? PT is bigger. Yes, correct. Why? Why PT is bigger, like you say? Because it heat supply from from uh -huh. the power. Ah. So heat supply will be bigger, lah. Then the MC theta, uh, why why smaller? Ah, uh, some heat I uh, will lost to the surrounding. Yes, very good answer. Okay, this one is a heat supply by the heater, but we know that some heat you lost, isn't it? That's why heat absorbed by water is less, lah. So. So you want to find how much heat loss, right? You minus this answer, minus this answer, okay? So I think you all can do yourself, right? Okay, let's check the answer. Okay. This one is PT, okay? Power multiplied time, PT, uh, formula. Okay, this one is MC theta. Mass, specific capacity, and change in temperature MC theta. So you get this answer. You see, this one bigger than this log. So heat loss. So you take this one minus this. So you get this answer. Okay, heat loss. Yeah. So very simple. Like five marks. Okay, very easy to get the five marks question. Okay. From four, ah, uh, from four chapter. Okay. Next question will be from five one. Your essay question now uh, definitely six one. You know. We are given two questions to choose. One must be from 4 1, the other one must be from 5 1. So you choose one to answer. Okay. Okay, come look at the last question. From 5 chapter, last question. This one from 5 1. Okay, study the question. Diagram shows a notebook. This is a laptop connected to the main power supply. Uh, this one, you see your, your laptop charger is like that one, isn't it? Okay, connect to the power supply. You can see here, nah, in our house, the power supply is 240 volt AC. Everyone, same one in our house. All the plug, 240 volt AC. Understand alternating current. So you plug in here. Must be something to do with this uh, because uh, this laptop, uh, this laptop need 19 volt direct current, you know, is DC. But how come our power supply AC? Uh, so how to make the laptop can can uh, receive DC direct current, then only 19 volt? Here of 240 volt. Okay, meaning that uh, this thing, the charger uh, is very, very important, you know. 
this charger carry two function. Okay, let me explain to you first. Uh, first thing, uh, this charger uh, must reduce the voltage uh, from 240 go down to 19. First job, understand? Must reduce the voltage from 240 to 19. Okay. To reduce the voltage, right, you must use a transformer. Okay, a transformer to reduce transformer. Right? You see in your school, right, the blue color box. Right? They do experiment, connect your wire one, the one blue color box, the one is transformer. The one you can change the power supply to zero, uh, two, uh, four, uh, six wood, uh, eight wood, ten wood, uh, correct not? Uh, the one is a transformer. Okay, another thing. Uh, this thing also must able to convert AC to DC. See, convert the AC alternating current, convert to DC. Okay, uh, how to convert AC to DC, right? You learn in chapter four, electronic. Okay, okay. Uh, to convert AC to DC, right? You use a rectifier. We call it rectifier. Okay, right now. Okay, roughly you know already. Huh? Okay, I'll see the question first before I let you see the answer. Okay, the question, what is the meaning of DC? Uh, I don't want to say anything. I want you to tell me later on what is DC. And then, state two electrical devices found in the adapter. Okay, what are the things found here? And also, just name only two things found inside here. Huh? After this lesson, uh, you must know, you know, when you charge your handphone, uh, when you charge your laptop, uh, you must know what is inside the charger, actually, you know. Your handphone charger will do the same, I tell you. Char handphone charger also connect to power supply, 20, 240 AC. This is your handphone charger, I connect to your handphone. Your handphone voltage uh, usually is only 3.6 volt, only, you know, DC. Also DC one, 3.6. So, Particular your charger same now reduce 240 to 3.6 for your handphone. And also another one is convert the AC to DC for your handphone. Okay. Yeah. So step two, another one. What is the function of each? Uh, okay, you know the question already. Huh? Okay, now we look at the answer. Okay. DC is direct current. Direct current or, okay, I said it, you right now. Huh? The better answer, I think, is what I'm going to say now. Huh? Direct current is a current flow in one direction. Okay. Current flows in one direction. Huh? That is called direct current. Okay. So, write down already. Don't, don't give, uh, just say direct current now. Huh? Okay, you must say direct current is a current flow in one direction. Only flow one direction, one is called direct current. Okay, then the two devices are one is transformer, the other one is rectifier. Don't worry, we're going to study this later. Transformer and rectifier, the names of the parts are transformer and rectifier, meaning that now. For your handphone also same, you know, your handphone charger also actually inside got two. One is transformer, the other one is rectifier. Okay, now you see the function. Transformer is to step down the voltage. Change 240 to 90, 19 volt. Step down the voltage. Okay, and the rectifier is convert alternating current AC to DC direct current. So remember it now. Remember the name and remember the function of each, okay? Transformer do what? Rectifier do what? Okay, the detail of transformer and details of rectifier, we are going to study next lesson and next topic. Understand? Don't worry. Now you learn the name first, transformer and rectifier. And the duty and the function of it. Okay, got it? Very, very young, got it or not? Yes. Got it, huh? Well, Harry, uh, you got to write down the answer or not? Uh, let me show you. Uh, you don't believe me. Uh. Uh, show me, show me. Uh, show me. Uh. Uh, 
เล็กเล็กเล็กที่เดอะไปเฟอร์ละโอเคมาหน้าอาชีพเดอะเฟนนี่หนออาชีพเดอะเฟนตอนนี้เว้เว้เว้เว้เว้เล็กเล็กอ่าโอเคโอเคไอโซ่ไอจีกูดโอเคกูดกูดบอยนะฮะดีเยอะโอเคทำ next question อ่ะดิฉันอีกเฮดรายเออร์โอเคผมไฟจัปเตอร์ละอิเล็กทริกโนโอเคตายกรมโชว์มินคอมโพเนนต์สินะเฮดรายเออร์ดูดรายซับอย่างเฮโอเคเราอีกสิ่งหนึ่งคอมโพเนนต์ฟอสซาง most important is this ah heating element heating element means ah this wire become hot one you know hot heating element นะ so it become hot Okay, wire of the heating element. So this wire will become hot, no? Hot. Then you use a fan uh, to blow the hot air come out. There's a fan blow the hot air come out, then you dry your hair. Understand? So fan motor. Ah, uh, this fan, ah, uh, uh, this fan is very important. Fan here. So the fan, ah, uh, is to blow the heating element to send out the hot air go outside. That the fan motor must be very powerful one. Okay, powerful means ah uh, can produce stronger wind. Understand? Okay, then fan plate. The plate ah uh, here got how many plate? One, two, three, three plate. The plate ah uh, normally our house fan also got three plate. So need three plates. Okay, three pieces ah. Uh, one, two, three. You I we need to have more plates. You know, the more plates you have ah, uh, the better can produce more wind. Understand? More plates you have ah. Uh, When it turns right, it can produce stronger wind. Okay, and next is power supply lah. Power supply nothing lah. So these few things ah. And one more things I want you to listen. The wire of the heating element. You see or not? This wire is coiled up one. You know, coiled very long one. So this wire lah, heating element must be long. You know, long. Why long is better leh? Because When this ah uh, heating element is long, means ah uh, the resistance is higher, longer wire resistance higher. You remember not in chapter one you learn, chapter two sorry. So long means the resistance is higher. When the resistance is higher, means ah uh, this wire become hot, faster. Higher resistance wire na uh, so it become hot very fast. So it's good you know. You must resistance here you know. Wire resistance must be high. High resistance wire then become hot. Okay. So when the wire is long, the resistance higher. So it become hot faster lah. Okay. Ah. So all this is like that. You know to function or yeah. All right. Next. Now we the question you ask to choose one. Diagram show four K dryers with different specification. Okay. So okay. Now we look at all the four. Oh, four. We are asked to choose one, isn't it? Okay. Um. So you study P, Q, R, uh, S, huh? Which one is the best? Okay, we go one by one, ah. Uh. I discuss with you first, ah, uh, before we look at the answer, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. This one short heating element, no good. The heating element must be long, like we just now. This one short, no good. Short means ah, uh, the wire is short means resistance not high, you know. Resistance not high means it won't become hot very fast. But choose a short one out. Ah, uh, this one short out. Okay. This one long. Ah, uh, long. Yes. Either these two lah. Uh, choose a long heating element. The wire must be long. Okay. Long the reason ah, uh, uh, higher resistance. Higher resistance wire means that uh, it can produce more heat, more heat, so can heat. Hot now the A become hotter lah. Okay. okay, this time you know what to choose already. Ah, uh. so these two no need to see already. Already disqualified. Okay, next fan motor. Okay, between forty watt, seventy five watt. Which one you choose? Pingy, forty watt, seventy five watt fan. Which one you choose? 
75 watt. Yes, 75 watt. Why? Why you choose the higher power one? Uh, so can produce stronger wind. Yes, the more the motor can turn faster. When it can turn faster, means it can produce stronger wind. Okay. The next one is uh, four plates. This one three plates. Three only now. You see one, two, three. This one has four plates. Um, I told you just now, right? We choose the one with more plates and four plates. One, uh. What is the reason now, uh, Raymond? Why we choose four plates? Uh, Raymond? See? See, uh, why we choose with the four plates? Uh, Raymond, wind. Raymond. What, uh? It can pro produce more wind. Ah, correct. Four plates, man, uh, stronger wind. It can produce stronger wind. Uh. Okay? So one, two, three only. Uh. Then how you get 10 marks? So, oh, one more. Specific capacity. Specific capacity of the wire heating element. Uh, this wire heating element. Uh, the specific capacity, you choose a small, big one or small one. No choice. I think we have to choose a small one, isn't it? Why we choose the wire with small specific heat capacity there? Why? Must be a reason, you know. Why the wire must have smaller specific heat capacity? Huh? Uh, Hui Xin, Hui Xin, uh, can you answer one why the wire we choose with smaller specific capacity one? Uh, Hui Xin. Huh? Uh, Hui Xin, uh, can you answer why? Uh, Hui Xin, uh, why we choose smaller specific capacity one? The wire, the wire, this wire. The reason of choosing with small specific capacity is what? Eh? Rian, Rian, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why choose the smaller specific capacity one? To hit faster. Ah, yes. Small specific capacity means uh, it will heat up faster. Yes, good. Heat up faster. Huh? You mean this heating element can be heat up faster? Lor? I think someone answer there. I see uh, who uh, I type the answer, but I cannot see. Uh. Cannot see who type. Uh. No, sorry. Uh. Ah, yeah, uh, in front here. Uh, Harry Young to prevent heat loss, no la, eh, Harry. Smaller heat capacity means I uh, can heat up faster, huh? Okay, Harry. Okay, okay. Now we check the answer. Definitely, this one you answer in a uh, table form, uh, huh? So we are going to choose uh, S log S, huh? Okay. So you see the answer. Okay, the answer are all here. Length of the heating element must be long. Choose a long one. Huh? Reason? When the wire is long, right? So the air flowing through heating element is heated for a longer time. So it becomes hot. Because the wire is long. So the air moves through the heating element with a longer time. This answer is okay. Not longer time. So it becomes hot. Because the wire is long, so the air goes through the wire with a longer time. Huh? And that reason, as I told you just now, right? Higher resistance. When the wire is long, right? The resistance is higher. Resistance high means uh, can produce more heat. Okay? Same answer now. Uh. Longer wire has higher resistance, can produce more heat. Okay? The second one, low specific capacity. The reason is heat up quickly. Power, high power. Can rotate faster, produce more wind. Nah, huh? Okay. Higher volume of hot air blooms out. Okay. More plates. Reason is higher well volume of air blow out. Okay. Same now. Nah, huh? And we choose S. S is more suitable. Then you have to repeat the reason now nah, to get the last mark. You know. Go here now. Nah. One, two, three, four. Four. The eight marks only. Final two marks come from here. You name it correctly, one mark, and then the reason also for one mark. 
take the reason is because long heating element, low specific capacity of wire in the heating element, fan motor with high power and fan with more plates. Okay, so all the answer you have to write. Okay, nah? Can I can understand? Uh, all very quiet. No, Tai Hua Kai. Understand? Uh, yes, tai Hua Kai. Understand? Yes, Wen yes. Kang. Understand? Now, okay, good. Wen Kang. Yun Su. Can Yun Su. Okay, understand? Understand. Huh? Understand, sir. Okay, okay, thank you. Ah, uh, Ching Hong, Tan Ching Hong, okay. Then follow Tan Ching Hong. Okay, good. Okay, Ang Xiao Hui, can, can follow? Can, sir. Can, uh, okay, good. Emily, how can or not, Emily? Okay, can. Yeah, okay, thank you. Elisa, what about you? Elisa Tan, he wish, okay, yeah. he wish, you follow or not, he wish. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Can I understand? Of course, you're very good teacher. Yeah, God, thank you very much. Why well, you very clever to talk, not he wish, huh? No I can follow, no I. Yes, sir. Can I? Hanis, Hanis, what about you, can follow? Thanks, sir. Okay, thank you, Hanis. Ho Ying Ngân, can follow or not? Ho Ying Ngân. Huh? Ho Ying Ngân. Yes, sir. Can I? Uh, Wei Yi, Tan Wei Yi, can follow? Can. Can I? Uh, okay. Brian, are you there? Brian. Brian? Uh, Brian, no sound. No sound means I disappeared already. Huh? Selena, okay, understand? Selena also no sound. Okay, huh? Okay, last part, we will look at the calculation. Uh, this one, yeah, I want you to do yourself. Okay, you do it now. Calculation, huh? Okay. Right here. Try, try to do it yourself, okay? Five marks question. Heating element of K dryer, 240 watt, 1200 watt power. Calculate normal operating current. Uh, find current, you know how? Anissa, can you tell me how to find current, Anis? Anissa, um, please. Given voltage, given power, how to find current? Huh? Anis, what formula? Any idea, Anis? Um. Huh? Tivish, what formula? Huh? Tivish. Formula? Yeah, la, to find current, you must have formula, ma, move formula, how to find or You see, uh, you have voltage, you have power, how to find current? Eh? Uh, power divided by voltage. Okay, yeah, he's talking this formula. La. We are using this formula now. P equal voltage multiply current. P equal to VI. Remember this formula, you know? Power equal to VI. So you put in the power, put in the voltage, you can find the current. Okay, easy, huh? 
if it's correct now, power divided by voltage, you get the current, okay? From this formula, you must write this formula first, then only write power divided by voltage, you get current, okay? The next one, find the resistance. Uh, how to find the R? Uh, what formula now? Find resistance now, what formula is Huh? Everyone want to hide their head already. Now my I can pick one to answer. Poor swimming. Poor swimming, what formula? Ah, poor swimming. Ah. Uh -huh. It's then not there anymore. Okay, poor swimming. Any idea what formula to find resistance? From here you already got current. So what how to find resistance? Ah, you go to you want to find resistance, so use R equal, what is the formula for R equal what? Common type D, na. Very young again. R equal to VI, yes, correct. VI, yeah. uh, V over I. <laughs> yes, R equal to V over I okay. There are actually many formula la. You take voltage divided by the current, so you get resistance la. Okay ah. And the last one, heat energy generator in four minutes. Now find heat generated. Heat energy or formula is what? Ah, heat energy formula is what? Okay. You. Yes, yeah, someone said it again. Can you? I, I, I can't hear cloud clearly. Here we go to PT. Yes, PT. Power multiply time. Okay. Time, remember now. Four minutes change to second. Cannot use minute one. Change to second times 60. Okay. Okay, go and find the answer now, everyone. We don't like you check the answer. Do now. Done already? Okay, now you check the answer now. Huh? Now nah, your answer is here. Check your answer if it's whether correct or not. All the answer correct? Emily, all your answer correct not? Emily, go. Huh? Yes, yes. Where's your good friend? Uh, Ngo, Ngo, come, got come or not? Uh, no. What happened to her? Huh? Uh, I don't know. You know, uh, no contact. Uh. Huh. Good friend, I uh, never contact her one man. <laughs> you're very shy yeah. you want to talk now you know huh? and you go yeah okay finish your video huh? so any question to ask here so this paper we finish already huh? there's one more paper we go you know so paper three okay experiment yeah so i think okay huh? this one finish already huh? Someone answer here, Harry Young. Y over V. Okay, new, correct. So, so far, any question or not here? Asia, any question to ask or not? Sujo, any question? No answer one. Okay. Kelvin, any question? Kelvin Chi. No. No. Uh. Chai Yong. 
Chai Yong, any question? Ah, Chai Yong, ah? No. No, no question. Your brother beside you or not? Ah. You sit together with your brother or not? Chai Yong? Yes. Kona? And uh, who are? Hmm. Very young. How? Show me the answer. Eleven P. Okay, eleven P. Ah. Yeah. Okay, come. Ready? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Can see or not, Harry Young? Can, can, can. Can, okay, huh? Yeah, five, eight, two minutes, two minutes. But your, your pen, I've got sound one, you know, uh, Harry Young. I can hear, <laughs> I can hear Magic the man. sound. Are uh, you using what Magic. pen, or? <laughs> Normal pen, uh. I got sound one. Power ma. <laughs> right, right faster lah. Huh? Uh. Mana William? William don't know. Oh. I think he got tuition ah. Uh. Tuition there mana later on you must see the the video lah. Because this le this lesson that will not be repeat one you know no repeat one no. Oh. Okay. Okay, done, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Finish. Okay, uh, almost, almost. Uh. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, okay, set up, huh? Ah. Uh. Okay, okay. Zhuang, any question? Zhuang Chi Un. Huh? Okay. New any question? New. Any question? New. Meo, meo. Meo. Ah, Liao Xing Xiang. What about you? Ah, Liao Xing Xiang. Okay or not? Ah, Liao Xing Xiang. Okay. Yeah, okay. Julian, what about you? Julian quiet only. Don't know whether you can listen one or Julian. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, follow lesson or not? Yes, yes. <laughs> follow up. Uh. Okay, come. You move on now. Uh. Can another one ask? No more, Regina. Okay, come. Okay, the next one is uh, we have to go through this uh, experiment paper already, okay? You all have this paper with you or not now? Yes. But, uh, paper three, uh, paper three, paper uh, this is very important, you know, paper. Okay. Read the question first. Okay, I tell you, uh, when you are in the exam, you know, first thing uh, I know the question is very long, but you must read, you know, don't jury too long, understand? If jury too long, you don't read, uh, you may miss out something, one, you know, you must read, even though the question is long, uh, please read the question, okay? All right. Read and then go in, huh? And underline it. 
A student carry out experiment to investigate the relation between the angle of incident I and the angle of refraction R. No, is here ma this diagram. The ang you see the light coming now. Sujo, why you raise your hand? You want to ask anything, Sujo? No, uh. Okay, this is a piece of glass. See, you have the ray, the light come in. Okay, the light come, then a light of bend, refracted. La. This is called refraction, you know. The light go in, bend, and then it come out. Okay, this is anchor incident. Anchor I is here. Uh, this is anchor incident I. Okay. And this is anchor refraction R. Okay. You want to see the relation between the anchor I and anchor R. No, you can see from here la. anchor incident, anchor refraction. Understand? So the relationship, you know, the whole experiment just to study the relation between the anchor I. Anchor R. Okay. Understand? Huh? And the line normal to the surface is a normal line. Huh? Okay. The position of the ray box can be adjusted so that the five beams of light enter the glass at different angles. Meaning that uh, this ray box uh, can be pushed, you know, can be pushed to the left or pushed to the right to adjust the angle. Can adjust an angle I la, understand? So you can push to the left or push to the to make this angle different now. Can adjust the angle, understand? Okay, now the results are all given in the diagram. Okay. Now this time you read yourself. La. I'm not going to explain you read la. blah 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 in diagram 1.3, 1.4, 1.7, all this. Okay. All right, now all the diagrams are here. I see the first two. So the first diagram uh, inform you already the angle I 20, given one, the angle incident are all given, fixed one. You see all the diagram given the angle I all given. Okay. You only need to measure the angle R. You see here is angle R long. Like this one is 13, you know. That means zero start from here, la. remember or not? Start from here, 0, 10, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, you can see here, uh, so it's 13 degree. Okay, so you write here 13. <clears throat> okay, and use a calculator to calculate the sign. Sign 20, you get 0 0.34. Sign R is sign 13, you get 0 0.23. Use calculator. Okay, so press your calculator, sign 20, you get this answer. Side 13, you get this answer. Okay. All right. Next diagram. And now you start with this one. Can you tell me now this is how what is the angle? How many degrees here? Can you see carefully? How big is this angle? 19. Yeah, check. 19. 19, yes, correct. 0, 10, not just reach 20, ma, so you see here, 19, no? So here you write 19, ma. Ah. Are you my writing here, bro? Uh. Use a mouse, right? Terrible. Okay, now use a calculator, sign 30, write the answer here. Sign 19, write the answer here. Okay, right, I give you a few minutes, uh, you, you go and finish up all the diagram. All this diagram going to finish up, fill up everything. Okay, do it now. Okay, in a few minutes time, huh? Do for all the diagram, okay? Those who didn't print off the paper, la, you have your handphone, you see the question, you write the answer on a piece of paper, understand? At least you must write something. You don't you didn't print off paper because I know I understand that some of you know printer, no paper, all this, right? 
So at least you have your handphone, you see the question, then write the answer on a piece of paper. Yeah, okay, now you can see the answer, okay? I'll check your answer now. Sun 19, season 0 0.50, 0 0.33, because uh, given two decimal, so we follow, uh, uh, season two decimal, given one, just follow, okay? The next diagram. Check, check all your answer. Size 30 degree, this size 25, and the last one is 36 degree, this size 36, okay? 10, 20, 30, 36, huh? Okay. Well, all correct, not. Julian, you get the answer correct or not? Ah, Julian E. Tai Hoa Kai, do you get all the answer correct? Yes. Yeah, no. Correct, ah? Okay. Thank you, Tai, Kao, tai Hoa Kai. Okay, ah? So you have all the answer already now. The next part is you put everything in the table, okay? Oh no. Answer the question first. Okay, now. Manipulated variable is an anchor of incident. I must have I, yeah? Wait, remember or not? You cannot just write anchor of incident. You must put there anchor of incident. I. Then responding variable. Angle of refraction R must put R there, huh? And constant variable in the experiment, huh? one thing cannot be changed. One is the glass, the piece of glass cannot change. But I know most of them they will keep the answer types of glass. No, don't ever use the word type. Don't use the word type. Understand? If you want to talk about the glass, like you say the refractive index of the class block refractive index of the class block okay this is something you do with the last now other sense refractive index the ability to reflect the light when you don't change the class block means uh, the reflective index same now uh, so the ability to reflect the light also the same uh, so it's refractive index of the class block if you don't know this uh, you can also write the density of the glass block also can the density of the glass block okay density of glass block Dana? teacher yes if mv i i write position of ray box okay or not um no 
No. Uh. Cannot be accepted. Because uh, you know why, you know, the question already given to you, you see the question, uh, not, uh, not here. They already tell you, you know, investigate the relationship between the anchor incident, I, and the anchor reflection, R, is given already. Uh, you must write this one. This one, just now earlier, I told you, you're all right. You must read, you know, especially the first two paragraphs. It's very important, you know. It's already given my anchor incident. You control this anchor, lo. then you see the result of the anchor reflection. Correct, no? And you cannot say position of this or no. Uh, you must say this anchor, anchor of incident, anchor refraction. Okay, uh, Che, understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay thank start. you. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. And the next. Uh, record everything they have done, and then the table, put in the table like this, okay? Tabulate the data. So, tabulate data, you must have four columns. Uh, we follow the question, you know. You must have I, R, Psi, I, Psi, R. Four columns. So, follow one, two, three, four. So, put here. Okay, and then this one got unit degree, got unit degree. Uh, this one side I, side are no unit one. Okay, side I, side are no unit, so no need right unit. Okay, with the table, then after that, uh, plot the graph. Okay, plot the graph. Plot the graph of psi i against the psi r. Psi i is y axis. Psi r is x axis. I mean, this one is y, you know, huh? because it says psi i against psi r. Ma. So, what this is y axis, this is your x axis, okay? If you plot the graph, huh? this is your y axis, this is your x axis. Psi i again psi r. Don't make mistake, huh? Some fellow say this is x, this is y, then wrong already. Because it's already mentioned, you know, psi i again psi r must be y again x. Okay? So this is y, this is x, huh? Okay. I believe you already finished the table now. Now, how are you going to choose the skill? What skill you are going to use there? So remember, when you are plotting your graph, huh? always remember your graph must be at least half of the graph paper. Too small, huh? definitely you will get zero marks one, no? I tell you all. So make sure you choose a skill, huh? make sure the graph big enough, you know. Okay, must be at least half of the graph paper. So don't choose a small, small skill, then later on your graph become very small. Okay. Plotting graph is five marks, and also you have to play play with the five marks now. Nah, understand? Five marks here, you see, you plot the graph five marks, you know. Okay, now you see your graph, huh? Very very small, huh? Now the skill, now you see the skill first. By this are the, the graph will be big enough. 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, this one until 0 0.6. Because the biggest value is 0 0.5 something, correct? Now you see, x are 0 0.59, this one 0 0.8 something. So this one you do until 0 0.6, this one maybe do until 1.0 or 0 0.9. Okay. Yeah. So when you're plotting your graph, uh, you must label here now, this is psi r, must have this one mark one, you don't have one minus mark one, what psi r. So here is psi x, psi i, must label psi i, 
Then here you put 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 until 0 0.9. The biggest is 0 0.8 something, correct not? Okay. And then here, 0 0.5 something is the biggest lah. And then you can mark, uh, mark the graph correctly. Okay, you take some time to mark. Mark correctly, you know, see how I mark. Okay. Then finally, draw a line. Practice our way, practice to draw, draw the graph, okay? Don't lazy. Okay, finish or not? Yao Sing Xiang? Yao Sing Xiang, are you doing a... Okay, uh, you can lead on, continue to, to finish it. Uh. And then the last part of the question is, relationship when you see a line passes through origin so the answer for relationship must be how you give the answer relationship here directly proportional yes you must say who directly proportional to who okay young can you answer who directly proportional to who huh? Hey, you cannot just say directly proportional, you know. Okay, I tell you, you must say. In I. Yes, start with the Y. Psi I directly proportional to Psi R. Okay, uh, the answer is like that. Huh? And now you can see the answer. The relationship uh, is right here. Lo. Psi I is directly proportional to Psi R, okay? Psi I directly proportional to Psi R. So the graph, so remember all your paper three, uh, do carefully. Definitely you will get a question plotting a graph one, I tell you, okay? I can guarantee you that uh, the graph you are going to plot uh, must be a straight line graph. I never, never see so many years already the, the physics format. Huh? You, are, you are asked to plot a curve. No. All straight line one. Okay, all straight line graph. Either it's directly proportional or inversely will come down one. Okay. Okay, huh? okay, we move on to question number two. Wait to question, huh? Diagram shows the arrangement of apparatus for experiment. I told you I must read the question, I don't be lazy, you know. For experiment carried out by student to do what? To investigate the relationship between the depth of sinking of head. 
how deep the thing sink into the water hitch and the mass of the slotted weight are the mass this one is mass okay so to find the relationship between the mass of slotted weight and the depth of sinking how deep is sink inside common sense also you know the heavier thing you put here this thing the sink deeper correct not it go deeper right Okay, now the graph given already now nah, the graph is here it given you the graph oh the graph is here okay see the graph ah huh? so this is h depth of sinking again this is a mass in kilogram okay so this is directly proportional graph isn't it go through the origin so this is a mass of the slotted weight this is the depth of sinking so the line given already to you. So first question they ask you relationship one. So straight away you see like this, directly proportional. So the answer, now nah, oh, write carefully, uh, H directly proportional to M. Okay? Must write the Y axis first and all. H directly proportional to M. Uh, Okay, second question. Determine the values of H when the M 0 0.2. Now, standard sentence they will put there. Show on the graph how you determine, meaning you have to draw the line. Draw the line to show how you get the answer. When the M 0 0.2, what is the value of H? You must don't be too smart, you know. You, I know some of you say, no need to draw line, but I can see what. I tell you, don't be stupid. You don't draw the line. The examiner like, cannot read your mind one, you know. You don't show the line there, so straight away they will minus your mark, one mark, okay? So you see on the graph, I'll show, uh, show the line, okay? 0 0.2 is here. So draw the line clearly, and then show the value here, 0 0.024, okay? This line must be shown. So here, 0 0.2, draw a line. And then to, 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 I'll show this value. This value read carefully. Okay, 0 0.02. Uh, 0 0.02, then 0 0.022, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, like that. Okay, go up. So the answer is 0 0.024. 24 unit must check, you know, here what unit? Uh, meter, then right, meter. 0 0.024 meter okay yeah and this answer okay next gradient calculate the gradient now same standard they ask you again show on your graph how to get the answer show the triangle okay uh some of you are uh, you i know you can use a uh, mathematic method just pick two point use a formula to calculate then you are stupid understand i tell you in physics uh, in physics don't need to show you are very smart use a formula no show the triangle they want you to, because show on your graph how you calculate so you must show the triangle uh, on the graph okay uh, like that so choose a point now uh, easy to read the values one so i choose this point then this triangle so draw the 90 degree to show your triangle understand show it and make sure your triangle here lah, is big you know not too small you know must be at least 4 cm 4 times 4 so mine is bigger than 4 times 4 already okay 5 5 so enough okay so the value right here 0 0.06 meter here 0 0.5 kilogram right the unit this one kilogram here meter right why I, I ask you to write the unit here because a little when you calculate the gradient right you won't forget the unit for your gradient so you take 0 0.06 meter divided by 0 0.5 kilogram y divided by x right gradient now okay so you get a no uh, here you are very lucky that because the unit given to you already meter per kilogram okay 
0 0.12. The next calculation use this formula. The density rho given by this formula. K is a gradient. Uh, this one is a gradient, so you just substitute the gradient value. Lah. Okay. And A is a cross section area. Uh, A very given, meaning that you substitute the gradient, substitute the area, area given uh, to find the density. Okay, do like that. Gradient 0 0.12. Area 4 times 10 power negative 3. Uh, you calculate to get the rho. Rho answer, uh, rho is density, you know. Don't forget density unit is kilogram per meter cube. Uh, like this, uh, your unit must be correct. No unit I will minus your mark. Okay, this unit you have to know yourself. Lah. Density ma. Density is mass divided by volume ma. This is mass, this is volume. Understand? Okay. And C, another calculation. Use this formula to find the buoyant force. Lah, huh? F equal to rho GV. Okay. Rho, this answer. Lah. Density, put here. Gravity is 10. Uh, the volume given already in the question. No? Volume given value. Just substitute. Rho VG. Remember this formula? No? Rho VG is to find the buoyant force formula from 4. Rho VG. Buoyant force. Rho VG. Uh, rho GV. Okay, so force, so the answer is in Newton. Okay, Newton. And the last one is precaution. This one mark you must get, you know, precaution, always keep this answer. Avoid parallax error by position the eyes. Eyes are spelling wrong, okay? Eyes perpendicular to the skill of ruler and weighing skill. Uh, you must mention, you know, skill of what and what. Okay, why here now uh, I put skill of ruler and weighing skill? For me, I know. Oh, so many skills. Uh, why I chose ruler and weighing skill here? Okay, you can see the graph. The graph there, what you need to know. Uh. Meter, here meter, right? Here use a meter, ma. here use a ruler to measure. Here we use a weighing skill, the slotted weight, right? So using weighing skill to measure the weight and using a ruler to measure the depth, right? Not. So the two skills must write correctly, you know. Why parallax error by position the eyes perpendicularly to the skill of the ruler and the weighing skill? Okay, you write like this huh, with the correct instrument here. The skill, what skill? Ruler, okay, weighing skill must follow the graph, lah, follow the experiment. Okay, then you get the last one is one mark. Okay, one mark for me. You see, 10 o'clock already. So the time passed very fast. So I think I have to stop here for tonight. Uh, you're also very boring. Listen to me already, right? Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to me, waiting here patiently. Understand? So train yourself to be patient. Uh, listen. To be a good listener, and I say it's very important, you know. To be a good student, uh, you must be able to listen to your teacher. Be more patient, understand? To be a good listener, uh, huh? okay? Huh? So enjoy your day, take good care, and remember to study every day, okay? Goodbye. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, 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 okay, bye bye. Yeah. So I see you again. So, uh, I Thursday night, I see you again. Uh. Okay, bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.
ya papá, ya.